Hey, what's going on out there, y'all? Look, the Rock Bros back with another back one. Back at Cordell it. Cordell Rocks. Carter with the Clippers. And in this one, y'all, we finna talk about the fact that Russell Westbrook is now a fucking rocket. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Russell Westbrook to the Rockets, y'all. Um, let me be honest. I mean... I feel like the OKC did him a you know a huge favor by putting him in a more ideal situation mm -hmm, than mm -hmm. coming to let's say Detroit. Let's be honest, don't nobody want to come to Detroit. This, ain't, this not. is not the place. To, it's way too fucking cold here. First of all, ain't shit to do. Yeah, we would have got him a pair of buffs. We would have got him a Roly. Hell of a would have made him a beat. Okay, but but it's nothing special. Can't about drive your Ferrari around this bitch. Yeah, man. We got the worst power holes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Power holes mm -hmm. and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But. I feel like, you know, the fact that now the number one and number two highest ball handlers in the NBA, like as far as usage rate, being on the same team, I don't think that's going to like work out. I don't know out. how it's going to work out, man. I, I don't see it working out. With two type of players, like the way that they play, I don't know how they're going to do it because people are saying, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like he played with James before, you know, they'd be fine. But you have to remember, James, James Harden wasn't the same caliber player he is now then when he was on OKC Thunder. You know, like, he's a very, uh, way better than what he was uh, now, then. So, it's like, now. But both of them different players than they was right. on the same team. Completely different. They right. Their game. Correct, they different, correct. Just, correct. Just different levels in their career right Correct, now. correct. So, like, I just, I honestly, I mean, most people say, like, all right, you replace Chris Paul with somebody that's bigger, faster, and stronger then that should be a better recipe, right? But what about the shooting? Because Russell Westbrook had arguably his That's worst shooting thing, yeah. percentage. That's the only thing about season. Russell Westbrook. Like, he can't shoot for real, for real. So, so like, yeah, I mean, I guess that's a, I pretty much the only thing that they're missing right now is the shooting like, from Chris Paul. But, I, I mean, I feel like they still won every other category. Like, they're stronger, faster, you know, stuff like that. So, more aggressive, you know, like, more athletic. So, And the Rockets, I mean, they, they, mm -hmm. they, I mean, they pri primarily, their offense is predicated around three-point shooting. Mm. Chris Paul was a better three point shooter than man, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But maybe uh, with Russell, though, like, who knows, man? Like, that's going to get Russell more assist because he's already averaging a fucking triple double anyway. So, like, who knows? He might we just want to just pass that bitch out all day long and, you know, get in his open look and knock down a three, you know? Well, this is, uh, this is truly, truly like a situation on paper where only time will tell. Mm. Like, you really can't. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, if you look at the analytics of the last couple of seasons, you know, Daryl Morey, the Rockets GM, he cared more about names. So when he pulled Chris Paul in, everybody's like, how is this about to work? You know, two two dynamic ball handlers, like, how is this going to work? And, I mean, they had a real yeah, good like, successful seasons. Weird. But if you pay attention to where it's been trending, like Steven Jackson said, they went from being number one in the West, right? You know, mm -hmm. they was looking good. They had Golden State down 3-2. And then they started they, the next season, they was number two in the West. And then this year they was number three behind Denver, so it's like they was they declining, but, Slowly but surely. you know they got bigger, faster, and stronger at the one position. So we just have to see how it play out. But what y'all think gonna happen with Chris Paul? Like, yeah, man, like you know, like do y'all think he gonna fit in OKC? You know, like you know, like, what y'all think, man? I don't think he a long term Personally, plan. If you look at what OKC doing, they got almost eight draft picks in seventy two hours, like. You know, in the matter. Yeah, but they got like three or four from like, like you know, from the Rockets. From this, this draft and this is the most draft picks the team has ever had in NBA history. Like, they set up for the next seven to eight years, like draft picks. So they went in complete rebuild mode, which is why I'm pretty sure that they're gonna get rid of Chris Paul. Like, you know, probably trade him for even more picks and more, you know, more younger assets to rebuild everything. So I heard people saying that uh, the uh, fucking KD gonna act for a trade to the. <laughs> To the uh, Houston Rockets, uh, like you know, so today they all can like you know, so play with each other. You know, Russell, uh, James, and KD can all play with each other. Especially after the, you know the whole episode going to Brooklyn. Like, who said that? Like, no, nah, but I'm just saying like just fans and like that's, that would uh, be just what people want to see. Like, people want to see KD. We don't want to see that KD. We don't want to see that. To, uh, you know, to, to go over to the Rockets with them boys. I mean, they will probably come around and win some ships, but then again, you know, like you know, Russ don't like you know. KD don't really like Russ. He don't like his style of play. And a lot of people, a lot of execs, they and not And vice versa, too. Like, Russ don't really fuck with KD like that no more for him, especially after But you can't argue KD about his style of play, though. Like, he makes sure he, you know, he going to put up his buckets and he's still going to get everybody involved. He not, Understand me? He not 100% ball dominant. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he could still be effective without the ball, without bringing the ball up the court. So. Okay. Um, yeah, I think man. a lot of people saying Chris Paul could end up going to the Clippers. Which would actually be a more ideal situation for him, uh, you know, playing Clippers with Kawhi and Paul gosh. George, 
that would be an ideal situation for him, you know, and it'll get him back in the championship discussion because, you know, he's one of those players out there making all that money that's that don't really have a chance to be a champion, you know. Unfortunately, I mean, I, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. I know some guys out there making money in other markets that, you know, that just not giving them a chance. But Chris Paul, I feel, is one of those guys who um, right now, since this is like, the end of his career, almost. You know, he really, he really deserved a chance to be a champion. And I guess he had the chance, you know, having Golden State, you know, tied two two. It was, it was tied two yeah. two uh, this year when KD got hurt. So it was like it was there for the taking. Y'all lost Game Six. Y'all lost Game Five and Game Six. So like that was that one was there on the silver platter, and y'all blew that one. So like I can, I can completely understand why if y'all decide like, look, we don't this whole thing off that shit because it didn't look like it was going nowhere, but. Um, I feel like, man, that like now with Russell over there, though, I mean, like the league is just getting more and more and more balanced out as we go on by the day. You know, like I wasn't expecting to see no motherfucking Russell Westbrook to the Houston Rockets pop up on my phone that morning when it happened. I wasn't expecting that. Wasn't nobody expecting that. And so it's like now every team has kind of like a one-two punch now. Well, not every team, but a lot of teams have a. One it's two a lot punch. of. It's just. It's you know, just a Brian lot. To, it's a lot for people to talk about. Like Tyree, I still feel, bottom line, the Lakers are the favorites. Rest like I don't care what y'all do with the rest of the league. Y'all can stack it. Y'all can sugarcoat it. Um, but the the Lakers are the favorite. It's, they're the clear cut favorites, man. I mean, they're strong favorites for sure. So it's like you know, what I'm saying like this. Is, they the Vegas favorites too. As of this morning, mm. like number one. A lot of people got a problem with that, but mm. it's LeBron fucking James. End of the day, right? You know it's I mean, Anthony uh, fucking Davis. End of the day, right? We have whoever else after that. Day, right? I still can't believe we got Kyle Kuzma. I still don't believe it, day, but, right? <laughs> but, you know, like, you know, y'all can do whatever y'all want around the league. You know, Russell, you can go ahead and try to join James. Um, Whatever case know, may be, man. BG, you can join Kawhi. Me, but, uh, I don't think they want to stop the cool. though, man. It's, but but it was a good move, though. Like, I mean, like, you know, like, you know, it's like, just keep, made the it season. Keeps shit interesting. Keeps shit, yeah, I would say it. Yeah, exactly, it, exactly. Like, you being in OKC wasn't interesting. It just wasn't going to be It's like, I mean, I just feel bad for Chris Paul now, man. Because like, stuck, yeah, like, stuck in that market. Stuck in that market. Stuck with that team. Market. OKC, it's OKC, Windy City. I mean, well, no, but not Windy City, but like, yeah, I heard no fucking tornadoes like, in there. <laughs> like, what's significant happens in Oklahoma City? Like, tornadoes. That's the only, like, you know, significant. I mean, like, not good, but like, like that's I know only, Detroit ain't all that special, but goddamn it, it's the Motor City. Like, yeah, this, you know, this city yeah, has its, we, it has its, its, its pivotal, you know, its pivotal thing that it's known for. So, right, like, right. what about Oklahoma City though? What I don't, but tornadoes, man. you know what I'm saying, like. I wish, you, I wish Chris the best. Um, you know, it is what it is. This is the, you know, this is the league. You're still getting paid. It's all business, man. Like they, um, they don't give a fuck about you and your family in 14, man. That's what I learned. Yeah, and you can't, you, know you, can't, you, you really can't trip about it. Like, you know, I love, I know you love basketball, but think about this for a it's second. It's all business on these guys. Kobe guys. Bryant is probably sad that he can't play basketball no more. But guess what he did? He knew, he knew it was over and he moved on. He started, you know, diving into business a lot more. That's his new, like arena that's what he likes playing at and mm. being good at now which is why he's becoming more and more successful so this might be time for chris to just explore new avenues in life mm. you know i noticed a lot of nba players are starting to do more podcasts agent zero gilbert arena's got a podcast danny green got a podcast called the green room fun fact about us, gilbert arena too but you know he's still getting paid by washington wizards uh, yeah yeah it's yeah. crazy yeah yeah but um but yeah man you know what i'm saying like um let us know what y'all think man you know me personally like I said, bro, it was a good move, you know, made the league a little bit more interesting. So I'm excited about this season to see who's going to really be victorious. I mean, yeah, we're going with the L's, you know, Laker Nation. You know what I'm saying? Fun, so. It's going to be fun, man. So let's know what y'all think, man. Let us know, know, thing, man. Let us know, let us know what y'all think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that, comment below. You and, know. Uh, we'll see y'all on the next one.